Hi guys, I'm James, uh, Babum Day Missionary. I'm very happy to share with you all again. I know we've been following this series for the young people, themes like you know, being fruitful. So this week I entitled my sharing Friends in High Places. Friends in High Places. And I put that because we're remembering the Ascension. The Feast of the Ascension is coming up. And we might think, okay, what's the significance of the ascension for my life as a young person? And one of the things that's great is, we know this, sometimes when you have connections, like maybe you're trying to get something done and you know someone like a friend in a high place. Like, not that they, they shouldn't bend the rules, of course, but maybe they can give you some hints or maybe they can help you. They can give you some suggestions. So friends in high places... It's really a reminder that Jesus, who says to us, you are my friend, I want your life to be fruitful, and I'm going to help you. And I'm going to help you by going away. And you're like, what? Come again, Lord? What do you mean you're going to help me by going away? Because in the ascension, the Lord never leaves us. Maybe we're thinking, repeat? In the ascension, the mystery of the ascension, the fact that the Lord ascends into heaven, he also says, I will be with you always until the end of time. And this is so great because if Jesus was physically present in body as Jesus of Nazareth, he'd have to make a choice. Whose house is he going to be in? Yours or mine? Whose house is he going to be in? Me or in the friend, my friend in the Barcarda? Because in his physical life as Jesus of Nazareth, he couldn't be in two places at once. But with the reality of the resurrection and the ascension, and later the Holy Spirit will come, what it means is that Jesus can say, I am going to be with you. And I'm also going to be with you. And I'm going to be with you. This is the beauty that in ascending, he never leaves us. He is always with us. He's always present. And this is so great. Because when I think about my days when I was uh, like you guys, no? my uh, days, college or uni, I had some great friends. I had a great bacardo, but they couldn't always be with me. Not always. We used to hang out. Sometimes we'd stay up late together. We'd do crazy kind of things, have fun. But they weren't always with me. When I went traveling to another place, they, they couldn't be with me. And when I was sick once, they couldn't always be with me. And then through life, each one has their own journey and not always are they with me. But the Lord says, I am with you always. Well, oh, that's a great friendship. And when I was thinking about those days of uni, I dug out an old photo of myself. Here I am uh, studying. So I was in that photo was first year, uh, first or second year of medical school. So I would have been about, uh, I entered medical school when I was 18. So 19 years old, probably going on 20. And that red lion on my um, hoodie is the Cambridge University Karate Club symbol because I was in the karate team and that was my pride and joy. So those were my student days and there was a lot of books on my table because I had a lot of catching up to do <laughs> because I was doing a lot of karate and not so much studying. <laughs> so when it came to the exams, I really had to study. But how great to know that we have this friendship with the Lord in all the moments. Maybe when I look back, I realize I look at that guy, 19, I feel a little bit like sorry for him. And my only desire was, James, I wish you could have known more that friendship of Jesus. I kind of knew him, but not so well. And I think I would have probably enjoyed more my student days with the Lord, fighting side by side with him in all the different situations. And it would have reminded me sometimes to look up, to look up. Like when you have a friend in a high place, the ascension also reminds us, look up sometimes. Don't just keep looking down, look up. What do I mean by that? I remember once when I failed an exam and I was like, oh my goodness, it's terrible. Oh, I failed an exam, it's terrible, it's the end of the world. Oh, and my head started to go down, looking at myself, looking, oh. And I rang up my dad. And I said, Dad, I've got some bad news. What is it? Oh, Dad, it's so terrible. I was making such a drama. He was getting worried. Oh, Dad, what, what is it? I said, Dad, I failed an exam. My dad said, 
Is that it? I said, yeah, I failed. I said, only that? I said, yeah. And I said, oh, I thought you were going to tell me the world's going to finish. What he was trying to do was put it in context. In the big scheme of the whole world, with all the things happening and all the things going on, to fail an exam is not the end of the world. Putting it in context. And how great sometimes to have that, sometimes a different vision on things from our friends, from our family, from the Lord also. He can see things differently. Maybe that situation that worries me, the Lord might say, don't be afraid, be brave. Be brave. Do you like to be brave? I am from Scotland. Brave heart. Freedom. <laughs> Lord, I don't feel so free. I feel full of fear. And Lord said, be brave. I've conquered the world. So how great to have the friend who's always with us, who knows us, and he's with us. And that's the reality and the beauty of the resurrection. Let's have a little closer look at the reading, which is from Acts of the Apostles 1, verses 1 to 11. Let's read a few verses from that. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. So you can imagine the disciples looking up. So it's true that sometimes we have to lift up our gaze, to lift up our gaze of faith, of hope, but not to spend all our time like stargazing. Oh, I'm dreaming of this, I'm dreaming of that. It's good to dream, but not to daydream too much because there's work to be done. And that's what the angels were telling the guys. Okay, you're looking up to heaven, but the Lord's told you what you need to do. So get on and do it. And often as young people, we know what we have to do. We have to study, so do it. We have to mm, treat our parents well, not spend all the time on the like the gadgets. <laughs> Spend some time maybe, but don't forget to communicate with our mum and dad. How are you, mum? How are you, dad? Can I help with the dishes? Maybe they'll be like, what? So surprised when they see these changes in our life. And this is how the Holy Spirit energizes us. This is one of the fruits of being in contact with the Holy Spirit and having a spirituality. Everybody has a spirituality. It may not be a good one, but everybody has a spirituality. How great if we can be guided by the Holy Spirit. And in those verses, the risen Lord makes a promise. The Holy Spirit will come upon you. The power of the Most High. Wow, I like that power. When I was in college, there used to be quite a famous song called I've Got the Power. I've got the power. Do, 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 do. All the dance moves are there. I've got the power. When we have the Holy Spirit, we have the power. The power to look up sometimes at the Lord and listen to him. The power to recognize him helping us through our bacarda, through our family, through the Verbum Dei community or through the church, the parish. It's a power that empowers us. It's an inspiration that can inspire us to keep going when we're feeling a bit down or a bit discouraged. And we need that every single day. St. Augustine, he said, We were created once, but we need to be recreated every single day. That's why even this day, I, when I, the first thing I did this morning, I woke up to pray because I need the Holy Spirit for today. Lord, I need to prepare this sharing for the young people. Inspire me. And the Holy Spirit will always give us what is needed for the task that God asks. And he also is the best personal organiser. I'll tell you that. The best personal organiser. He'll tell you how best to use your time. So that time of prayer and reflection is never wasted. Because we're strengthening the Spirit in us. Strengthening the Spirit in us. And I like very, word, very much the word in the Acts of the Apostles. The word is a little bit of Greek here. Okay, So here the word dunamis, 
in green is the Greek letters, no? It's easy to see in English, dunamis. So you can easily think, okay, what words come from dunamis? I think there's lots of words we can think of. Well, dynamic, to be dynamic, active, not to be passive, no, and half dead, no, to be alive, fully alive, not to be zombie. And sometimes there's a lot of love for zombies, but don't become a zombie. If you watch too much Zoom, you become a zombie. <laughs> To be fully alive, to be dynamic. Dynamite is another word with its explosive power. And I like very much the dynamo on a bicycle. I'll just zoom in again on that because I don't know if you've got one on your bike. But the dynamo is a little gadget that attaches close to the wheel and there's the light above it. And what happens is it's got a, like a, a head that rotates. And when it's not in contact with the wheel, there's no power generated, no electricity and no light. But when you put that little dynamo in contact with the wheel, it generates electricity, the top of the dynamo turns around and the light comes on. And I was thinking, this is our life. Of course, when we don't have contact with that movement of the Lord, the movement of the Holy Spirit, we don't feel so active. We don't really move much. We just kind of stay and like we vegetate. But when we're in contact with the life, when we're in contact with the love, when we are in contact with the power, what happens? We are empowered. The problem with this video is you can't see my big muscles. <laughs> Joke. We become empowered by the Holy Spirit. And this is, <clears throat> the dynamo is that. What's the secret? We heard it recently. Remain united to me. Remain connected to me. Remain in contact with me, with my words. This is Jesus speaking to us. Remain united to me and you will bear much fruit. Remain united to me and you can ask for anything you want to and it will be given to you. So how beautiful this like living contact with Jesus, with his word, with the community. And this power will empower us and Jesus promises the that to the first community and he promises it also to you and I look this is his words but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem throughout Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth wow Lord empower me every single day of my life because I need to be powered up not just for me, but for my loved ones, for my family, for the many other young people. Imagine a young person who's powered up. How far can they reach? Maybe when we read it, to the ends of the earth, I know what we might think. Exag. Sobra. Mm, depends on the faith. You know, there was a young girl and she was 15 years old. Maybe she's the same age as some of you. Maybe she's younger. And she wrote in her notebook that she wanted to experience this power and share it to many. And she said, I want to go to the four corners of the earth. And she wanted to share that experience of that friendship of Jesus to remind the young people, hey, why are you so like that when you have such a great friend in Jesus? Look up, lift up your gaze. Remember, you have a friend in a high place who can help you in so many situations. And she wrote in a notebook, I want to be an apostle. I want to plant the cross of Christ in the four corners of the world. And you know what? That young girl, she only, she only lived until she was 24. Do you know who I'm talking about? During her life, that was her prayer. And after her death, those words came true. I remember when I was in Cebu and her relics came. And I saw so many people walking up. We lived at the top of this kind of very big hill stroke mountain. I saw so many young people streaming towards those relics. I didn't know this person at that time. I said, who is this? There's attracting all the young people. What power? What power? And he said, oh, it's Saint Therese of Child Jesus. She's also known as Saint Therese of Le Jeu. I was amazed. Do you know where she's from? I just told you, Le Jeu in France. And yet that power of the Holy Spirit was reaching Cebu. Not only Cebu, all over. It came to near where I am now, near, near, near London. And my parents said, wow, we felt the power, even though her relics were 50 miles away. This is the power of the Holy Spirit. It's not our power, because our power is sometimes a bit low, low bat. But if we are constantly recharging, constantly connected to the power, 
we share the power of the Holy Spirit to the ends of the earth. So this is so great that even if we're about our daily business and our daily lives, we're just at home, no? It's that because we're in lockdown also. But it doesn't mean to say that my life cannot have an influence. I found a funny picture uh, of slippers. <laughs> I think these need to be our slippers. These can be maybe slippers I have in lockdown, but the slippers, if you notice, they've got the map of the world on because that power enables us to go to the whole world. Do not just think of myself. So my world is just small. Gamai, maliit, me, myself, and I. Oh my goodness, you will implode. You're like a black hole. It's all going in. It's the wrong direction. It should be going out. And we need that power to reverse at the gravitational pull of me, 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 I, 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 myself, myself, myself. And that is a very boring song when it's all about me because there's no other verses. We need a chorus. Others. Thinking of others. Pray for others. Starting in our family, but not stopping there. The Christian love begins in the family, but it doesn't stop there. So like those slippers, it's like a symbol of my heart. My heart is universal. That's what Catholic means, universal. I'm thinking of the four corners of the world. I'm thinking of many young people who would like to have this friendship with Jesus, who would like to connect to him, who need that power, because they are half dead. They are half dead in this video game. They are half dead in this vice of pornography. They are half dead in laziness. Why? Because they're not connected to the source of power, of real power, the Holy Spirit. They need that friendship with Jesus to empower them. So how great that mission you have, you guys. And it really reminds us, hey, let's not waste our life as young people. Let's really use our time well. And that's one thing that I really try to pray for, especially as the years pass. Lord, oh, life goes so quick. Just yesterday, I was in uni. I showed you the picture. It seems like yesterday. Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far away. But life goes so fast. It passes quickly. Lord, help us to be aware of the gift of time, that it passes quickly. And that's one of the Psalms also. Teach us to number our days, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. A heart of wisdom. Lord, how to use wisely the gift of time as young people, not to waste it. Sometimes people do like the wasting the time. It's like, oh, don't waste it. It's such a precious gift. It's like sand running through your fingers and you don't know how long you're going to have that gift for. And we know that because of COVID. A lot of young people have, have passed away too soon in a sense. So let's be wise. Wise investors to use our time well. And I think that's why it's great to have this like spirituality series. And the Lord will help us. The Lord will not leave us alone. He will work with us and through us. And that was the promise he gave to his mm, apostles, his friends. He said that he would be with them. They went forth and preached everywhere while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. I love this working with them. I'm sure that's the desire of the Lord, to work with you guys, with the young people, the guys and girls. And that's the word work with is synergy. I'm sure you've heard that word before. Synergy is a word that's from the Greek language, actually. Syn, S-Y-N, is together. And ergi, ergos, is work, to work together. And the definition of synergy is the total is greater than the sum of the parts. The total, which is three, is greater than the sum of the parts, one plus one. So the work that we can do together, you and I as a group, as a community, when Jesus is there is much more than just what the effort we put in. Because one plus one is three. We are stronger together. So how nice this, that we can be strong in the friendship of the Lord. That we can remember to look up sometimes when maybe we're feeling a bit down, feel a bit discouraged with the pandemic, another lockdown. Don't forget to look up. Then you'll see that smile of, smiling face of Jesus say, hey, come on, don't lose that beautiful smile. Hmm. We need that in the world of today for the other young people to cheer them up also. Also for your parents, your siblings to encourage them. And how great we have that source of power 
It's like a power bank, not just 10,000 milliamps or 12. No, it's infinite. The infinite power bank is the Holy Spirit. And all we're called to do is to connect. And the cable is prayer. The first cable is prayer. Community is also another cable. But that gift of prayer allows us to like reconnect, to top up, in a sense, the units of power. Feeling a bit low back? Don't worry. You can tell the other young people. Connect to the Holy Spirit. He will empower you. And they'll say, how much does it cost to top up my load? And you'll say, it's free. And they'll say, what? <laughs> say, yes. And the connection is not just 5G. It's infinity G. This is the reality of the Holy Spirit, who is this gift from God, a gift from God. He is God and he's, he brings all his gifts and fruits with him to share with you and I, to empower us, to empower us in that friendship and also to introduce other young people to this same friendship with the Lord. So let's be grateful for the gift of ascension. I'm sure there's many young people, especially in Asia, who'd love to have that friendship of the Lord. Just think of some countries in Asia where they don't know about Jesus. They don't know about the Holy Spirit. And they're just waiting. They're just waiting for someone to share to them about Jesus, about his friendship. So I'll pray for you and we'll keep praying for each other. And I put some reflection questions which maybe can help. How do you feel about the enduring friendship of Jesus? That you have this friend who's with you and in you always in all the different moments in what moments are you called to look up maybe in those moments of discouragement or disappointment or feeling a bit of failure to look up to see the big perspective to look up to see the bigger horizon where would you like to be empowered we know the how which is to connect to the holy spirit holy spirit help me and that's been my prayer often in the beginning of this time holy spirit help me Holy Spirit, give me endurance to persevere in the pandemic. Holy Spirit, help me to be a good friend of Jesus. Holy Spirit, help me to prepare my sharing for the young people. <laughs> of course, it has to be very practical, the Holy Spirit. What you ask him to help you in your studies, to help you in your relationship, in your families, with your siblings. Of course, this is where the Spirit is. He's in us and with us. And he's always helping us to grow in that friendship with Jesus. And of course, there's no better way to grow in friendship than to introduce others to your friend, to introduce other young people to Jesus and to let them know about the Holy Spirit. May Mother Mary continue to guide us on our series of talks about spirituality. Thank you so much for listening. I've enjoyed to share with you all. God bless. Bye bye.